I chose exercise and wellness as a major kind of as a backup plan for after the NFL. I wanted to do physical therapy. I don't think that I could be away from football. It just means so much to me, and it's been a big part of my life. Sports Halloween Spooktacular, presented by Ken Garfavorum. Now, from the Lavelle Edwards Stadium Trunk or Treat, your host, the voice of the BYU Cougars, Greg Rubel. Welcome into the second hour of the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular. I'm Greg Rubel. <laughs> BYU fans, if you'd like to join us next week when it's back to BYU football with Kalani Sitake, go to byucougars.com slash sitake show next Monday, 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Eastern. Fill out your seat request link. You could be with us in Studio C for next week's Satake Show, hashtag Satake Show. But tonight, it's hashtag BYU Boo. We are at the BYU Sports Halloween Spectacular. I am Ron Burgundy. And with me tonight, the man behind the musical sensation. I'm told they were a popular duo in the 80s and 90s, Millie Vanilli. And he is the mastermind, Cloud. Hello, Cloud, and welcome. Uh, I guess I don't have to use this microphone, but uh, it's good to be here, Ron. Thank you very much. I'm the, uh, the, the third member of the group that actually sang the vocals. Uh, so I'm the one that nobody knows about, but I'm here to promote my music, you know, and show everybody that uh, although I'm older, I can really deliver. What the people got, <laughs> what the people got in the 80s and 90s was a grand illusion, <laughs> illusion, and this was the man behind the music, and that, that is impressive. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I get no credit, yeah, so, but uh, I'm, I'm here to just claim what's mine, you know, with the so, music, so. Some say this is not my natural hair. <laughs> you must get the same comment. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is all natural. I've, I've, uh, I wash it myself. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do as much of this show <laughs> in character as humanly possible. <laughs> I'm not. I just, can't do just it so anymore. You know. <laughs> so if I hand you a question you don't quite appreciate, just know it's coming from Ron Bergen. I got you. Okay. <laughs> so if I could call you Kalani, is that okay yes, to do at please. this point? Yes, please. Yes. I'm more comfortable with that. I'm feeling good. And by the beard of Zeus, I know you are feeling good after last Saturday. I'm feeling great. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you know, our guys uh, played hard, and, and, uh, and it all worked out, and uh, just really proud of our players and our coaches. And, um, you know, uh, that's kind of what we've been hoping for from the beginning. But uh, it's uh, nice that it arrived, and now the, the question is, uh, can we be consistent and do it again another week? Without my good friend uh, Champ Kind alongside, I don't know all the finer points of the game of football, it must be said. But I do know that what I saw on Saturday was a lot of heart, a lot of passion, a lot of emotion, and better execution. <laughs> exactly. Doing great, by the way. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I, I mean, I, the guys played hard, and, and they, but they've been doing that all year. Just nice that it all came together, and, um, you know, it was, we were able to start it uh, quick. I think uh, Braden starting things off uh, with a physical hit and um, just got things rolling. You know, our, our, um, obviously there's a lot of things that we can fix. Um, there's a lot of things to improve on, but I'm just happy that we, can, we were able to do it with a, with a win. And... Um, that our guys uh, pretty much uh, played as, as well as we practiced all week. So about that hit by Mr. El Bakri, it's El Bakri, correct? It is. El Bakri. <laughs> so my good friend uh, Greg Rubel is the radio play-by-play -play announcer for your BYU Cougars. He called me from the broadcast booth up there <laughs> here at Lavelle Everest. He called me from the booth, and he said to me, Ron, I am in a glass case of emotion after the Braden El Bakri hit. Do you understand what he was saying? Yeah, I mean, it it, uh, it it jarred the whole stadium, and uh, all you have to do is watch it live. And, uh, I mean, it, it was violent, and so much so that the refs had to stop the game and and uh, review it for targeting. And, you know, I, I don't know uh, if he can really control his body, but it, 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 it we just looked. I, I feel fortunate that he was able to stay in the game. But, um, you know, I, I think he tried to do it as clean as possible and tried to put his face on his shoulder, and it just worked out. Braden's worked extremely hard. Um, you know, and I, I'm always about a fullback being able to get in there and play and, and make some. I mean, he's been doing that all year, all year long on kickoff and on special teams. And 
it's just nice that it's paying off and that he's getting the re recognition he deserves. Braden's hit was as clean as my look tonight. <laughs> Your mustache, yes. I look good. C come see how good I look, everyone. <laughs> I look, I'm, I don't know if you know this, but I'm kind of a big deal. You are. <laughs> People know me. So, uh, Kalani, San Jose State comes in uh, with the same record you had, I'm told, again. Uh, you leave with a, a, a second win and, and the hopes this becomes something of a, uh, perhaps of a wave of success toward the end of the season. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that our, our, our guys can get some momentum now. And, uh, you know, I, I, I feel like the team was confident going into the game. And uh, it just makes it, it confirms it a little bit more when you when you get a win and and um, and able to build on it. And so the corrections that we need to make, it's just so much nicer to have to do it, you know, but do it with a, with a victory and ha have uh, just the thoughts that uh, of good feelings of of a win. We we needed it, you know. And I, I last week I mentioned that we needed to, we needed to win and uh, thankful that we came through with it. But uh, um, now we're looking for the next one and our guys are hungry for it. It's caused some momentum and, and hopefully uh, we can keep it rolling. Now, I know a lot more about the team from my town of San Diego, the Aztecs of San Diego State, formidable bunch. And I know that San Diego State played Fresno State just recently, and they were beaten like a drum. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Fresno is, is uh, you know, with Coach Tedford being there, um, I, I think he's, they got a lot of experience on, on their staff, and um, they'll be ready. But I, I think that, you know, it's about matchups now rather than, records and, um, and and you can't really look at you know we for if you played the same opponents or not um, you just look at uh, the matchup that we have against them and and uh, just appreciate the fact that we get to play against them you know and get a great coaching staff and we get to go in Fresno and our, our fans will show up just like they do everywhere I do know that coach Tedford spent some time in Canada in the Canadian Football League but he's also had a lot of experience in the States both collegiate and pro what do you know about Jeff Tedford and what has he brought to this collection of uh, Bulldogs from South Fresno State? Well, he's got tons of experience. You know, he, he, he being at Cal, he, he coached our uh, our strength coach, Newt Tafisi there, and, and um, but he's he's done a lot of things as far as football and offense, and the, the, the odd thing is that they're playing really good defense too, you know, and so he's bringing that, that wealth of knowledge, but also a staff that that, uh, you know, is experienced and they, they coach their guys really well, and so you can see it on film, and and uh, they're aggressive on, on both offense and defense, and uh, it'll be a good matchup for us. We're looking forward to it. And there's a lesson to be had here, sports fans, because Fresno State last year was not good, 1-11. at 11. Jeff Tedford comes in, and just one year later, a much better record. There is a lesson to be learned there. Teams can have down years, and teams can turn things around just that suddenly. Great Knights of Columbus. Yeah, and, and, and once they get you know some momentum going, then things can happen, but... Uh, you know, for for what we're focused on is what we're doing as a team and as as a, as a group first, and focused about our own, ourselves. And then uh, also knowing this, being able to scout our opponent is important. But uh, I think if we just keep the momentum rolling from what we did last week and and uh, build on on some of the things that we can improve on, and uh, I think we'll be fine. I I feel really comfortable with our front uh, on offense and defense, and uh, need to see them do it again next week. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about your quarterback. Taylor Magnum, Tanner, Tanner Mangum, Tanner Mangum, I'm told, he played very well against San Jose State. He did, and, and you know, the, the um, interception that came off of him was was off of a receiver's hands, and I um, thought he protected the ball well, you know, and, and took some good shots downfield, and we made some big plays, and I think that's kind of what his niche is, being able to do. We, I give a lot of credit to Coach Detmer because he was able to use a, a game plan to help um, suit Tanner's strengths, you know, and so um, Tanner seemed really comfortable out there, and uh, uh, you know, we, we hope he can continue to feel that that comfort. And I think that you know, the, the O line did a great job protecting him. I, I, I believe he was not sacked once, and so uh, that that usually helps out knowing that you're not going to get touched, and you have a lot of guys that are taking taking care of you, especially a quarterback coming off of injury, and he's feeling a lot better every week. So I, I'm really excited about what he's going to do this weekend. All right, so more sports talk after this break. And as we take our first break, we want you to know that you can enjoy a full hot breakfast buffet. Dinner Monday through Wednesday, a kitchen in a large grassy backyard along the Provo River Trail, all at the Residence Inn Marriott in Provo. When we come back, more with Kalani Satake. This is the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular. 
BYU Food To Go's convenient location at 2191 North Canyon Road in Provo makes bringing popular BYU foods to your next event easy. Everything's ready when you need it at the drive and load pickup. You drive in and they load no matter the weather. And stop in the on-site creamery for great BYU chocolate milk and ice cream. BYU Food To Go, bringing campus to your table. Call for details, 801-422-5001. I cannot believe you joined the basketball team. Katie, just because I'm wearing basketball shorts doesn't mean I'm on the team. I'm never going to see you anymore. Why not? You're always going to be at practices or games. I I'm not on the team. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying. Hey, Jake. Hey. He was my neighbor. Gear so legit, they'll think you're on the team. BYU Store. It's a story of survival and great hope. It's about one determined woman taking inspiration from a life-changing event. When you're tested by an incident that makes you reevaluate everything in life and then puts you yourself to the test mm. and it's trying to break you, that's when you suddenly realize, actually, I can do a lot more than I thought I could. This is going back, giving back. Where is she? Resting while her body accepts her companion. Do you see disharmony here? The hatred? Everyone shares. Everyone contributes. Where's the crime? Where's the freedom? We're about to walk into a camp filled with skin riders. So how do you think that they are going to respond to this? You want to save me. I want our family together again. You don't know what a companion can provide. The BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular is presented in part by Ken Garf Nissan of Orem, a proud supporter of BYU and the Cougar community. We hear Cougs. We are back for the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular. I'm Ron Burgundy. With me, BYU head football coach Kalani Sitake, a.k.a. Cloud, the music mastermind behind the duo Millie Vanilli. Yeah, that's right. I, when, I sang all those songs. When he says, yeah, <laughs> that's my cue to talk. And I don't read anything that's not on the prompter, as you know. So I'm worried about my dreads right now, so <laughs> sorry about that. Now, I can enliven a good party with a, with a cannonball. But uh, <laughs> what was the party like in the BYU locker room after defeating San Jose State? Yes, it was just a second win, but you'd been a long time between wins. I'd have to imagine there was a lot of, uh, well, let's say, fiesta -ing going on in the <laughs> locker room. There was, and, and uh, you know, um, it's been a while since we won, and I and, and, uh, just want to celebrate it. And um, our, our guys had a great time, and, and that's, uh, um, you know, you, you, you make a big deal about everything that, that when it works out and you work through some adversity and uh, you handle it with a lot of hard work, um, it's just nice that to have it confirmed and, and uh, let the guys celebrate a lot, you know. So uh, Ty Detmer did some dancing, and... and um, Jamal did some dancing and Jamal Williams was here for the weekend and uh, we just had a lot of fun, you know, and, and um, I just think it was, it was really needed for our team to be able to celebrate and hang out and just uh, feel the victory. My producer tells me that uh, Ty does a mean Cotton Eye Joe. Is that the case? Yeah, well, he's supposed to, he was waiting for Cotton Eye Joe to come out, but he, uh, I think he, he has a, uh, a variety of dance moves, so I think he went the hip hop route this time, but Maybe we can see Cotton Eye Joe next weekend, or and this ja weekend. And Jamal Williams can really shake a leg, can't he? Of course, and that guy is, uh, it was nice. The fans were great uh, to see him again, and it was good for our team to see him again. He was here all week watching practice, and they have a bye, so uh, it was just nice for him to be here with us and with the group. And uh, the guy has so much gratitude for BYU and for this football team and this program. Uh, it's just nice to see him re you know, return back and, and uh, be around the boys. All the good people here tonight have tickets to the gun show. And uh, <laughs> when, I, when I do too many curls, I will sometimes, although it's a good, although it's a deep burn and a good burn, I will sometimes put myself on the shelf for a couple of days just for overuse. And you know what it's like to have guys on the shelf. This has been a year, I'm told, in which uh, there have been so many injuries uh, for your, your football, uh, we call them players? Yeah. For your players. I mean, uh, unfortunately, we, we lost Grant Jones for the, for the, the season. 
and um, it was a it was a you know terrible um, um, terrible accident that happened in the, on the kickoff and and uh, you know he's a guy that's worked hard for us in different positions and starting really starting to come into his own but we love him and appreciate all the hard work that he's done for BYU for many years and um, just look forward to him still being part of our family and part of our team but obviously he's going through some some troubles right now so if anyone sees him and can give him a little boost of, of uh, just you know just help him out a little bit I think he's down but uh, we certainly appreciate all the hard work he's done KJ was out for a little bit in the second half and then Fred Warner went down and but uh, those guys uh, there's it's hopeful that we may see them uh, hopefully this weekend we're, we're, we're hoping for that so BYU fans won't see Grant again this year though right yeah and, and we've had a you know we've had a string of, of some injuries but um, yeah, I think it's football is a, a, a violent sport and um, last year not as many injuries compared to this year but uh, you know that uh, stuff happens when you're when you're out there playing a sport that's physical and violent. And um, we've had a wide variety of injuries, from concussions to lower extremities. You know, with your legs and and knees to shoulders and, and things like that. So it's it's been it's been a variety of injuries. But the, the I trust our training room, uh, training staff, and, and our and our doctors and, our, and the, the people around our, you know, that the do the surgeries and, and do our rehabs and. The rehab our guys and the guys doing great so hopefully we get them back as soon as possible and um, and the other guys will heal up you've been coaching a long time is this year unprecedented for you from an injury standpoint yeah it's 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 different you know um, I've had been in places where we've had similar numbers but um, uh, and this one's a little bit high and, and uh, you know I, there's a lot of different um, reasons for it but um yeah, it's, I think it's just a violent sport, you know, and that's just what happens sometimes. And it's a bit of uh, uh, bad luck sometimes. And, um, you know, there's just so, so many different reasons why guys get hurt. And, and, and uh, you never pre can prepare for all of it other than just hard work and getting in the weight room and making sure that these guys uh, condition themselves so that they can protect themselves as well. Fans who watch the show with Kalani and Greg every week know that Kalani stays the whole hour. But tonight's different. It's a BYU Sports Halloween spooktacular. We're going to let you go. And as we do, let's just talk about this group of good people out here because uh, thousands of people have turned out to have Halloween fun with uh, the, the athletes from all the different sports here at BYU. And uh, it says a lot about your fan base and who these people are. Love the fans. And um, being one myself, uh, I just can really connect with, uh, with their energy and the passion. And... Uh, I really appreciate all the all the other sports that are here to help us out and be involved and I mean it wasn't even a question when they found out about the trunk or treat they were all in and um, and just to show our appreciation to our fans it's, it's kind of kind of fun and then you can just dress up and be a, you know somebody funny or you know <laughs> but it just kind of get hair that you wish you had because you can't have it at BYU you I know understand. And, I understand. And, uh, but but it was just a, just a lot of fun to be around our fans and um, just really love them I just <laughs> our players and our student athletes absolutely love our fans and any way we, we can show our appreciation we're gonna find ways to do it and this is one of them we began our little tete a tete talking about Braden El Bakri and I'm told uh, he'll be coming up next what should I know about Braden El Bakri? He's coming up on the show <laughs> next. He is a monster and uh, a great young man. I, 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 uh, it's just an honor to be his coach, you know, and so I love watching him play. And being a fullback myself, um, I have that, that connection with him, which is why I believe he got the first touchdown, right, <laughs> in my coaching career last year. And so, uh, will always be connected that way, but he is a great young man. He's worked extremely hard for this. He works hard in everything he does, whether it's a mission, academics, uh, being a brother, a husband, just the things that he does. It's just, it's an honor for me to be around him and his style of play, it, our team feeds off of it as you saw from last week. Well, Kalani slash Cloud, it's been a pleasure getting to know you tonight. Don't forget my number. <laughs> Girl, I'm going to miss you, all or nothing. I'm here. I'm the real voice behind the scenes of Millie Vanilli. I, I would love to give you. No, I can't sing. Sorry. If you lose, don't blame it on the rain. <laughs> Good one. I forgot that one. All right. Dang it. Braden El Bakri is coming up next. Go Cougs. All right. As we head to break, we at Ken Garf Nissan of Orm are improving things for our customers. To see how, come visit our showroom located on University Parkway. Ken Garf, we hear Cougs. 
After the break, Braden L. Bakri on the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular Live from Lavelle Edwards Stadium. You're watching Super Tuesday on BYU TV, presented by Siegfried and Jensen. What if I told you that if you're injured, your lawyer will come to you? Doesn't matter where, home, or hospital. Really? Really. They do that? Seriously injured? We'll come visit you at your home or hospital. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. I went to BYU with the intention of finishing my degree. Along the way, things got a little bit busy. I always had that idea that I was going to go back, but as a non-traditional student, I just felt that uh, that opportunity was not going to happen until I explored what BGS really offered. The BGS program gave me more flexibility and gave me the education that I wanted. As I was walking to the podium, it uh, was almost surreal. I don't regret getting my degree through BGS. Hi, I'm Steve Young. Graduating from BYU was a major achievement. But like you, my story didn't end at graduation. Share your story at rise.byu.edu and reconnect with the spirit of the why. Next time on The Story Trek, one big city, one location, can we pull it off? A woman suffering from self-diagnosed occupational OCD. She can do it all. Life is like a canvas. All these colors are sitting there for you to try and use and paint with. Plus the struggle of gradually losing your sight over decades. There were things that I would be able to tell, well, last year I could do this task, this year I cannot. I don't think that I could be away from football. It just means so much to me, and it's been a big part of my life. The BYU TV Sports Post Game, BYU at Fresno State, Saturday after the game on BYU TV. Lou runs deep on BYU TV. Don't miss the BYU Pacific Women's Volleyball Game, live Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 7 Mountain. Watch all of your favorite BYU teams on BYU TV, your home for Cougar sports. BYU TV Sports. Now back to the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular from the LaBelle Edwards Stadium Trunk or Treat. I'm Ron Burgundy. Welcome back to the show. Use the hashtag BYU Boo. That's what the kids are doing on the social media these days. BYU Boo with the hashtag to join tonight's Halloween night spooktacular conversation. Time for our guest segment brought to you by Bam Bam's Barbecue. Authentic to the bone. <laughs> it is my pleasure to welcome somebody I'm told is very good at what he does. His name is Braden L. Bakri. He is a fullback for the BYU football team, and my friend Greg Rubel tells me, you are a hard hitter, young man. Guilty? I don't know. Kalani moments ago calls you a monster, <laughs> and I'm sure you take that as a compliment. Do you take it as a compliment? Are you upset about it? No, I actually would take that as a very high compliment. And tonight you are Bane. Bane from the Batman franchise, I'm told. And uh, what would you would you say you are in charge tonight? I don't know, but do you feel in charge? That's the question. That's the question, Great Odin's Raven. So let's talk about a game I'm told you had this past Saturday against San Jose State. Now, normally you will uh, just carry the ball and get a lot of attention for that, right? Uh, mostly blocking. You will block for the person carrying the ball. I'm told you have carried the ball. Yes, sir. Okay, that also happens. <laughs> but uh, as a blocker, you are told to run down and hit the opposing player with as much force as you possibly can. Is that accurate? That's the goal, yes. Could you describe for me the play that left one unfortunate San Jose State player uh, quite uh, ill at ease on the, on, on the field? It's the field, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Um, it, was, that play. it was on the second kickoff of the game, had a great twist with Kamel Green, and he just never saw me coming. Uh, I mean, it was one of those hits that you don't even feel anything, and you just feel lightning go through you when you see the ball come out. Somehow the officials thought it was illegal. Yeah, I mean, when I saw the flag go up for targeting, I just hit my knees. I'm like, please don't take this away from me. I, I have to play. I can't go a week without not playing. That, that'd break me in half. You almost broke him in half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So the good news is 
the good news is he was able to get up his feet and, and walk off the field. Yeah, definitely good. Never want to hurt a player or ruin a season. So this was a big day for your team because uh, after a few weeks without a win, you got one. And uh, hopefully I would expect uh, you want to build on that in the weeks to come. Uh, for sure. I mean, winning is uh, a feeling that is exhilarating. It's a feeling that you always want to have. Our team has experienced a lot of loss this season, and it's been very painful. But, I mean, it was really awesome this last weekend to be able to experience a win and celebrate with all my brothers. Now, I could call him a co-anchor, Greg Rubel. Again, the radio play-by-play -play voice for your football team. And he told me that there was a play in the game that really caught him uh, a little bit to unawares and crossed him up a little bit. Your brother Bracken mm -hmm. was involved in a play that you were also involved in. Yep. And so there was a time, Greg tells me, that during the call of the play, he got his Brackens and his Bradens all discombobulated and he was just <laughs> tripping bees over bees. Can you understand how that could happen? Uh, I mean, everybody in my family is B. So I hear it from my parents all the time when they're like, Braden, Bracken, Bridger, Bailey, Brielle, Brindley. I mean, you just, you just get used to it over time. So that's how it was for Greg. He was calling Braden, then he was calling Bracken, and he was calling Braden, and then it was Bracken, Bracken, Braden, and it was a <laughs> bit of a mess there for a moment. A little embarrassing for him, I must say. Let's go back over the siblings one more time, slower this time. So I'm the oldest, Braden, then Bracken, Bridger, Bailey, Brielle, and Brindley. Three boys, then three girls. Hmm. Because? I don't, I don't know how that happens. No. That was a B word there as well for you. <laughs> because. Yep, yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, what are your parents' names? Krista and Jerry. Not a B to be found. Nope, no, nowhere to be found. What can you say about the next opponent you will face, the Bulldogs of Fresno State? Um, I mean, we're excited to play them. It'll be fun going down there. Um, have, you, have you been to Fresno before? I have not. It's part of the San Joaquin Valley. San Joaquin. I'm not sure who discovered San Joaquin, but uh, I think it means uh, uh, raspberry tart. <laughs> San Joaquin, huh? I believe so. What, what language is that? It's uh, German. Oh, most, most of the most California town names do have some German derivation. Okay. Funny how that works. Did not know that. So, uh, in fact, you will note that the uh, Fresno State team paints on their field a green V and have on their helmets at the back of it a V for Valley. They are proud to be part of the Valley. Okay. A little trivia for you there. All right. Perhaps you'll, perhaps you'll share that with your teammates. I, I may. I'll tell you, a good football player always loves an amusing anecdote. I've found. Yes. Well, <laughs> I, I don't want to anger you because in your state, I could be on the receiving end of uh, quite the whooping. But uh, I will ask you to perhaps forecast or foresee what might be ahead for the team down the stretch with still four regular season games to play. Um, I mean, we're not looking past Fresno. I know my coaches have stressed that a lot. We got to get all of our stuff done for them first and build upon that afterward. Do you watch a lot of television? Um, not a lot, no. Do you watch uh, shows on, on the Netflix? Sorry again, no. Yeah, so you're fully focused on your craft. Is that fair to say? I would say so, yep. What do you do in your spare time? Um, hang out with my brother and go on dates with my wife. And how long have you been married? Been married a year and three months. And do you think you'll be married at least another year and three months longer? Uh, I would, you know, put a good safe bet on it. Well, we hope to check back with you here in 15 <laughs> months and see how things are going. Is your wife's name, does it start with a B by chance? Starts with an E. Oh. I know, right? That would have been perfect. Quite disappointing. <laughs> but you were, but you are not disappointing. I really enjoyed talking to you. Hey, thank you. Best of luck in the San Joaquin Valley <laughs> and against Fresno State. And may all your hits be hard and may all of them also be legal. <laughs> all right, thank all right. you. That is Bain, a.k.a. Braden L. Bakri of the BYU football team. All right, we have more of the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular coming up here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. My name is Ron Burgundy, and Talon Shumway is coming up next. Talon used to play basketball, and now he doesn't. He'll be joining us to talk about, yes, football coming up here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Stay with us, won't you? No matter what stage you're at in life, you're always looking to take the next step forward. At Deseret First Credit Union, we want to take each and every next step with you. 
With low auto loan rates, you can be ready to see what's around every new corner. And amazing rates on home mortgages, so you can move up to something you've always dreamed of. Deseret First Credit Union, with you every financial step of the way. Membership and eligibility required. Equal housing lender. Hi, I'm Dave McCann with BYU TV Sports. Each season, we invite companies like yours to be a part of the BYU brand, aligning your business with respected academics and athletics. Becoming a corporate partner means you'll benefit from showcasing your products and services with game day signage, social media, radio, and TV campaigns. Whether on the field, in the stands, or on the air, BYU's here to help your brand grow. Email sponsorship at byu.edu today. Where are we? This is Earth, long after human extinction. We will help you restore the human race. Why would they bring us back? We are an endangered species. This is the key to changing that. Just to put them right. The BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular is presented in part by Bam Bam's Barbecue, authentic to the bone. I'm Ron Burgundy, back with more BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. BYU football fans and athletics fans are plenty from all the different teams arrayed before us here. My pleasure to be joined now by BYU football player Talon Shumway. Hello, Talon. Hello. I'm told you are the character Forrest Gump. I am. What was your inspiration for this? I saw a movie called Forrest Gump, and uh, I thought it was a good idea. Does everyone who sees you tonight know immediately you are <sighs> Forrest Gump? No, but when they do, I, I get pretty happy. If not, eh, it's <laughs> I get a little sad. But once we know who it is, it all makes it's sense obvious. to us. It, it's Come quite on. obvious. Right. So I said in the tease, it's a broadcasting term. We call it a tease. I said in the tease, you used to play basketball. That is true. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. And uh, you did that at Lone Peak High School? Lone Peak High School? I did, yeah. And you were quite good. Uh, your team won a national championship. Yes. That was fun. So why did you decide to become a football player instead of a basketball player if you are national championship caliber at Lone Peak? Oh, that's a good question. Um, that's why I'm here. I ask you good <laughs> questions. Uh, I, uh, I played on a good team, uh, I, but I wouldn't say that I was one of, the, one of the best players. So the other guys on the team, they went on to, to do great things in basketball, but I thought that uh, football would be probably my best bet. So at, let, let's also at note well. that at Lone Peak, you were also playing football. It's not like you yeah. learned how to play football here at BYU. No. You've been doing it a long time. Quite a while, yeah. You're a wide receiver, and uh, yet uh, you've uh, you've had to not play a couple of games this year. Tell us why that is and how you are feeling now. Uh, I got a little, little injury, so I, I missed two games, um, but all better. My, again, my, my, my good friend Greg Rubel tells me you did. Uh, you were again catching the balls on uh, on on Saturday. I uh, yes, I have been catching the balls. I caught more balls today. I'm gonna catch more tomorrow. So you're feeling good. I'm feeling good. How would you say you feel about uh, the battle of the Bulldogs, Fresno State? I'm excited for for another game. Uh, I don't know exactly how many we have left, but four. I'm four. Sure. Ron four Burgundy is always regular, right. Four regular season games. And I'm also told if they win all four, they might play one more. That would be great. Uh, but we're, we're excited for the challenge to play Fresno State. I've never played against Fresno State, but uh, I'm excited for it. And I think we're going we're gonna to put on our, our best game. A wise man once told me you have to win one before you can win four. I'd agree with that. There we go. Talon Shumway, a.k.a. Forrest Gump, joining us tonight. Let's head out 
to the parking lot here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium where Alice Cooper is standing by. Alice, take it away. Thank you very much, Ronald. I'm here with the uh, BYU women's volleyball team, and I am so glad. This hair is really helping out with the uh, height difference here. So now, at first when I saw this group, I thought, okay, inmates. But then it dawned on me, it's much deeper than that. Emily Lewis apparently is the ringleader in all this. This was her idea. Emily, can you explain the costumes for the team? Yes, well, it's just been a long summer here at Camp Green Lake, and we just really <laughs> want to pay tribute to our Digger boys. And so, yeah, that's what our whole team is tonight here supporting from Camp Green Lake. All right, so for those that may not know what that is, the movie Holes. Now, for, for those that have seen it, you know it stars Shia LaBeouf. So who in the group is the Shia LaBeouf character? Oh, McKenna is. Yep. So what, what can you tell us about your uh, the inspiration for your character? I'm not even supposed to be here, okay? I got, like, set up. <laughs> What? Sweet feet? Sweet feet? Like, shoes I did not take, but somehow I'm here digging holes with my best buds now. And who is this, by the way? This is my good friend Hector Zeronian. Ask him if he can read. Can you read? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, now, we, we, we won't discuss what happened on Saturday, but how excited are you guys to get back out onto the court of the Smithfield House Thursday night? Yeah! yeah. All right, guys, nice job. Let's send it back up to the set with Wayne and Garth, a.k.a. Jeremy and Spencer, guys. Okay. Yes, it's good to be back. All right. It's great. Hey, a uh, quick shout-out to Teddy Miner for all of the fantastic Halloween set decorations. Yes, yes. Also our They've elite excellent. makeup and costuming team at BYU Broadcasting. They are the best. They are the best, Spencer. <laughs> yes, they are. I mean, my best friend, Garth. Yeah, <laughs> Garth Algar. Joining us now, Tooney Knooch of the BYU Football Offensive Tooney Line. Tooney Knooch! Uh -huh. Party time! Excellent! Yeah. <laughs> Tooney! What's up? All right, man. Hey, nice costume. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of hurt you guys didn't invite me to be part of yours, you know, but uh, all right. I don't know we, who we I'd be, but I could have been it? your guitar, like something. The guitar? But, okay, your yeah. guitar player? A roadie? Yeah, camera roadie. Guy. One of the camera you know, guys. Yeah, maybe yes. something. Yes, we need that. It's okay. So you had to guy. officially settle on what then? Uh, me and my wife are from Wicked. Have uh, you guys seen uh -huh. the film? Yeah, I'm the Scarecrow. She's the witch. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, you got to do what the wife says, right? So. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. That's a good lesson you've learned, Tooney. Oh, yeah. Learn the hard way, but it's cool. <laughs> yes. How's your night going? Because this is the most excellent activity. <laughs> yeah, it's great. There's a lot of people. Um, a lot of other sports teams here, which is great. Last year uh, wasn't as many, so it's kind of cool to see uh, all the people out here and happiness over here on campus. What's the best costume you've seen thus far tonight? Man, I, I don't know. I've seen so many. Uh, Should have asked me before I came on. <laughs> yeah, to think about been, that. Yeah, you, let's put Tony on the spot. What go, do you think go. Of Greg Rubel. <laughs> he looks Ron great. Burgundy. That's he pretty looks, legit, right? Yeah, that's like super legit. I don't know. <laughs> and he's still in character. Yeah. He, and, <laughs> and the stash looks super real. I think you should grow one. Well, I thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you are very kind. Tooney. San Joaquin. Fresno State on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, obviously, this is fun. Tuesday night. What happens for the rest of the week as you gear up for what you hope is the next opportunity to quality win for BYU football? Yeah, it's a serious game. Um, we got to show that we can tie wins in together. You know, we've kind of had a lot of losses, so um, having the win to San Jose was great, but we need to show that we can win consistently and play consistently. So um, it's a really big game. Uh, they're a good team. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they've done great things this year, especially compared – to their season last year, so I'm excited to play them because uh, for me, especially, they have a. I think they have a great defense and a great defensive line, so um, I think it's going to be fun. I've heard that they're top 20 in scoring defense and yards allowed. That is good. Yeah. Yes, it is. That is good. <laughs> All right. Tooney, fantastic stuff. We appreciate the time, man. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having Get me. Get it done in Fresno. Let's, Let's go. Frez, yes, Frez, right? Frez, Frez yes. yes. Frez, yes. Now back to our good friend, Greg Rebell as Ron Burgundy. Fres, yes, is very clever. <laughs> My compadres at Ken Garf Honda of Orem have a new dealership. Go see their new showroom floor you located on University Parkway. Ken Garf Honda of Orem. We hear kooks. After the break, more from the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. 
Stay with us. You're watching Super Tuesday on BYU TV, presented by Siegfried and Jensen. Dinner! Mom, no, I have a date tonight and Hey I'm... Sam. Kim? What are you what are you doing here? I don't want you two lovebirds eating trash. So I invited her to dinner. Mom, this is my ex-girlfriend. I know, but I like her better. Plus, if you don't go out, you can save money. For the wedding. BYU Meal Plans. Make your own choices. If I got hurt and was laid up at home, I wouldn't even think to call a lawyer. What a hassle. I'd want to meet them first. What if I told you that for your first consultation, your lawyer will come to you? home or hospital really really they do that if you've been seriously injured we'll come to you it's your job to get better it's our job to deal with the insurance companies and protect your legal rights learn more at siegfried and jensen.com blue runs deep on byu tv don't miss the byu pacific women's volleyball game live thursday at 9 p.m eastern seven mountain Watch all of your favorite BYU teams on BYU TV. Your home for Cougar Sports. My name is Eric Dowdle. As an artist, I've been lucky enough to travel all over the world and meet some of the greatest and most interesting people. Spending time with the locals and learning their history allows me to discover the heart of each city. Each place has a unique story to tell and I get to tell that story in a one of a kind piece of art. I hope you'll join me on Painting the Town. I'm not gonna let anything happen to this family. Welcome, Ezra. I'm Corbin Caprice and you're watching BYU TV Sports. BYU from right to left, south to north, Mickelson boots away. This one's returnable from the goal line, Rashid Johnson. Johnson, oh, oh my oh, goodness, oh, a I fumble. Hit a fumble, and the Cougars recover. Braden now back at the 10 yard line. Good gravy. Rashid um. Johnson was leveled. That was the exciting play of the game. Presented by Nissan, a proud partner of the BYU Cougars. Nissan, innovation that excites. We are back with more of the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. I'm Ron Burgundy. And that was my friend Greg Rubel on the play-by-play -play of Braden L. Bakri Saturday against San Jose State. Well, it is my pleasure to welcome to the set someone who knows what it's like to be, like me, handsome. <laughs> handsome Tanielu is his name. And Hampson is a player on the football team, I'm told. Is that you are a, def a defensive lineman? Yep, yep, yep. What does that person do? Uh, just uh, eat blocks for Fred Warner. Fred Warner, I'm also told yep. another player on the football team wears number four. Hanson wears number 92. Yep, that's, that is I when I don't have this on. <laughs> so uh, who are you tonight, Hanson? Uh, I'm Post Malone, just a music artist. But, yeah, it was kind of a last-minute decision. Me... My, my roommate's Mo, he's Biggie Smalls, and uh, Kavika Fanua, he's Logic. So I figured we just put the wig on and uh, make something happen. My producer tells me that the defensive linemen on your team uh, have formed a little club, and uh, you have your have a nickname for your group. So D-Rockers, yep. D-Rockers. Yep. And that's uh, symptomatic, uh, symptomatic of, of what? Well, uh, we're just here to have some fun, and uh, we're going to keep the make the stadium rocking, so... So BYU, with the win uh, Saturday against San Jose State, is now 2-7. And, seven, and uh, there's a chance to even have, have even more wins than that by the end of the year. What makes you believe, Handsome, that uh, one win can become two and maybe more? Um, it's, it's just like anything. I feel like once you gain momentum or get, gain a rhythm, you can see that you know things start to play out. And you, you see the points go up and you see the tackles go up and you know the three and outs increase. And it, it's just... Uh, it's also a mind game, too, you know. It's not just physically getting done. It's like, you know, mentally, it's like, oh, we if we've done it, we can continue to do it. And that's what happened on Saturday. It was like, oh, we three and out from the beginning, and 
just keep keep going and, and uh, this is the way it is what do you know and what can you share about Fresno State um they have a physical offensive line um but you know it's like just like any other team you just gotta prepare for them and uh practice for them and then come game time just um go out there and play so my dog baxter once ate a whole wheel of cheese have you ever eaten a whole wheel of cheese no 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 what things do you like to eat uh anything with meat uh, i'm kind of like any other d lineman we just any steak out there i'm out there uh, I'm, i'll eat it yeah anything with meat i'm in there no matter how hot or spicy anything it doesn't matter to me are you are you told to eat a lot of food in your position uh kind of when you get too heavy i guess you might get a little too slow like i think i'm the second heaviest d lineman Kyrus is the number one. Now, now, when you sat down, you said you might not, uh, you, you felt this chair might not withstand your weight. Uh -huh. And what did I say to you? Uh, Kyrus sat on it, so I should be fine. That's what I said. Yeah. That's exactly right. He, I mean, he, yeah. He's like 345. I'm in like the 330 area, so. And then there's Vita, too. So I forgot about him. So I'm probably like top three heaviest D-line. So, yeah, I, I I don't know. We have a pretty heavy D line. People don't realize that, but we got a lot of meat in our interior. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it, my my young friend. Good to meet you tonight. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And have fun here uh, with with the trunk or treat. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. All right, yeah. the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular will continue. I'm Ron Burgundy. That's Handsome Tanayelu. We'll come back with more from Lavelle Edwards Stadium. We are here for the Trunk or Treat, the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular on BYU TV. We're back with more right after this. I take the road less traveled, run free, unwind, unravel someplace outside with lots to do. Green trees, red rocks, and don't forget that blue sky. The sunshine shining, fun shine, pouring on me. Anxiety, restlessness, insomnia, fatigue, depression, weight gain. The, the biggest thing that patients don't understand about low thyroid is that it's usually not a thyroid problem. It's actually an autoimmune disease that's attacking the thyroid called Hashimoto's disease. For us, it's really cool to see how much of an impact we can make at Red River for these patients' health and for their, their quality of life. Red River Health and Wellness can help with the treatment plan remotely or at any one of our locations. Hey, I thought we had movie night. Who are you? Dad! You know what, that's okay. We'll go upstairs and watch it instead. You guys, won't you guys just have a seat? Who's 38? 38? That's Butch Pau. In the Screen Wars. Watch live games streaming on BYUtv.org and the BYU TV app. Woo! Throughout history, there have been eras of incredible change that have happened in a relatively short, finite period of time. The Gilded Age in the United States was another of these periods. It was the age of genius. Men like Thomas Edison, the Wright brothers, Henry Ford. It was a time when civilization would advance by leaps and bounds. It was an age when the human condition would be forever improved. Tomorrow on BYU TV. The BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular is presented in part by Ken Garf Volkswagen of Orem, a proud supporter of BYU and the Cougar community. We hear Cougs. Cougar fans, if you're looking for an even more convenient way to shop at Smith's, try Smith's Click List. Order online, pick up curbside at the store. Visit smithsfoodanddrug.com slash click list for details. I'm Ron Burgundy, and now my good friends, Wayne and Garth, as the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular continues. Gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. You've been most excellent, and that is exactly what you said before. So, yes, <laughs> yes, Ron is the man. We should have him on our show. Okay. okay. We Tanner. <laughs> okay, out of character. 
Uh, welcome to the set. Tanner Jacobs. Tanner What's Jacobson. up, man? Thank hey, you very much. Nice cowboy hat, man. Now, did you, you really you have to go that much out of character this, to do this? Is this you normally? I did not. I did not have to uh, venture outside of my own closet to are create you, my Halloween costume. Are you in costume then? So you're not? You're not even in a costume? Um, or are you? You could say that I am Coach Detmer right now. You could say that <laughs> I'm just your average cowboy. Ah, yes. So, okay, yeah. okay. Well, there's a minor detail there because Gavin Fowler was walking around in a Ty Detmer Eagles, Eagles jersey. jersey. And he, he may have, you know, <laughs> put a little belly in there. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. Now, we heard that Tanner, or excuse me, that uh, Gavin walked into team meetings this morning also as Ty Detmer. Uh, did anybody else show up in a costume for team meetings? No, I think it was only Gavin. But he, Gavin texted me before because he was looking for a cowboy hat because he knew it, that I had one. Yeah. And he said, and he sent me a text like, oh, man, I was going to wear mine to meeting. And I thought he was completely joking. <laughs> Lo and behold, I roll up, you know, walking into the facility, and I see him in his costume. And, you know. Halloween great. starts at 12.01 in it the morning, does. right? It okay. Does. He For was the, the only one family. dressed up? Yes. Uh, he was the only one dressed <laughs> up. <laughs> wow. That is outstanding. Uh -huh. Okay, well, uh, you're here. What do you think of this event? It's grown from last year. What are you seeing out there? I'm seeing tons of people. People are having tons of fun, creative costume ideas. Um, it's getting a little colder, and the music's getting a little bit better. So, you know, people are starting to dance. So it's just a lot of fun out here. In this stadium, you guys snapped a seven-game win streak Saturday. Well, what was that like for the team, and how was prep for Fresno State? Um, it was exactly what we needed. You know, it, it's tough to lose, you know, any game. It's kind of hard to get back from that. Um, to get back from that seven-game little slump we had, you know, it was just great. You know, we came out fast, which is something that we wanted to do. Um, Obakri definitely brought it and set the tone. Um, so it was just it was just great to get the ball rolling and kind of, you know, play a game that we know we can play. How much of an effect does that have on a team when you are able to win a game and now head to Fresno State? Um, it's, it's just boosts the morale like none other. You know, people are more excited. You know, people are excited to watch film. People are excited to, you know, go out to practice. Um, it just gives us that, that boost and that momentum that we need. Congratulations on a big win. Thank you. Put the cowboy hat yeah. back on. It was Thank a party time. Go Saturday. back into character, Tanner <laughs> yeah. Jacobson. Exactly. Enjoy the rest of your night, man. Thank you. You too. Great time. Good luck at Fresno State. Okay. Back to our good friend, Greg Rebel. Now, that is a big man over there. Who has oh. a very special <laughs> guest. Yes, yes, indeed. So, my last guest was a handsome Tanielu, large individual. Larger man joining me now as Mo Longi is with us on set here at the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular. Hello, Mo. How's it going? Going very well. Hey, great to be here. It's good to have you here. So I don't know a lot about the popular music of the day. I favor the jazz flute, yeah. as you know. But uh, <laughs> I do know about the notorious B.I.G. <laughs> and I will say that you look a lot like him tonight. <laughs> Just ran out of ideas for... Um the Halloween costume and just started to throw this up. Is that who you are? Yeah. It's actually one of my favorite rappers of all time, so. Mine too. Yep. So decided to go out there. He's also known as Biggie Smalls, <laughs> which is a contradiction in terms, is it not? It is. Yes. So you had the same concern Handsome had when he sat down in our very sturdy chair. What yeah, this what? doesn't look that sturdy, but it's holding me up. It's comfortable and adequate for your weight, is it not? Yes, sir. Have you had a good time tonight? It's been fun just like going around with the fans and just being able to uh, hand them candies and with the kids. It's been a fun experience. You know, they say more candy, more problems. Yep. More candy, more problems. That's right. for sure. Right. So uh, I know that you had a big win over San Jose State. My good friend Greg Rubel uh, told me all about it. I'm yeah. excited for you. But he also says that you haven't been playing in, in some time. What's, uh, what's, what's going on? Uh, I just had an injury during practice and after the Utah game and just being recovering the whole time. Well, by the beard of Zeus, that is unfortunate. Uh, we will see you again, though, will we not? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Either this year or next year. But right now, I'm just grateful to be on the team and do my 111th, just be on the sideline and be the energy bus and join our team. BYU fans love you. You know that, right? Uh, hopefully, you feel the love. Oh, I can definitely feel the love. I, like, I really appreciate it. But, yeah, there's also all the players on the team that, like, what they're, um, they're doing great jobs, and I think they'll 
they all feel the love too. So everyone in the team gets all the love. What do you most like about being a BYU Cougar? Just everything. Like, the whole experience is being able to wear the jersey, get the Y on, and also my last name on it. It's just been great, a whole great experience being with the boys and with the coaches. And just, I just love everything about it. Well, we love having you here. You really fill out a chair. You really fill out a chair, young man. Great to have you on tonight. Oh, yeah, thank you. All right, that is Mo Longi, <laughs> a.k.a. Notorious B.I.G., a.k.a. Biggie Smalls. If he wants to leave, he leaves. That's the way it goes. We're back with more of the BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. I'm Ron Burgundy. You're watching Super Tuesday on BYU TV, presented by Siegfried and Jensen. You have everything you need. Yeah, I think so. Well, you forgot this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, you can do this. Thanks, Dad. Let's go, Joe. We're gonna be late for the All right. game. Well, heard mother. Gotta go. Thank you for watching Cosmo for us this weekend. Now remember, you only like sparkling water, room temperature. Come on, Make sure let's he wears go. his sweater. Gotta go. Go, go, go. We are going to see you again. There are many reasons people prepare. They prepare because the winds blow and the waters rise and economies fail. But the most important reason people prepare, they prepare because they care. For over 30 years, Emergency Essentials has been helping families prepare for whatever the future brings. Learn more at BePrepared.com. Rugby opened up the pathway for me to play football and now I fell in love with football. Stick to the path or die. I just love BYU so much. I left my family behind in New Zealand and um, I told them this is going to be worth it for us and for our family. Lou runs deep on BYU TV. Don't miss the BYU Pacific Women's Volleyball Game. Live Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 7 Mountain. Watch all of your favorite BYU teams on BYU TV. Your home for Cougar Sports. There's trouble ahead. Does it? Mm, yes, terrible calamity that is not good. But it could be fun, though. It could be. It could be very fun. and you're watching BYU TV Sports. The BYU Sports Halloween Spooktacular is presented in part by Ken Garf Honda of Orem, a proud supporter of BYU and the Cougar community. We hear Cougs. Great Knights of Columbus. What a night. Oh, what, what a, a night. night this was. Most excellent, I would say. <laughs> okay. Party time. Excellent. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but being out there, that truly is the good land. <laughs> <laughs> Algonquin for the good land. Yes. 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 Miliwake. We're not worthy. <laughs> I hope fans out there had as much fun with tonight as we did. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, I'll, and, and I'll break character now. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't really that in character, okay? I could only do so much. But it was, it was fun trying to be uh, Ron Trust Burgundy. It. That now. mustache Trust better it. make it tomorrow. I oh, like yeah. you with hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the mustache. That is a mustache that <laughs> Burt Reynolds yeah. would be yeah. jealous of. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, so I, good. It's been so long without this stuff, you know? Was, uh, yeah. What a blast, though. And what a, what, so what, what a, what a great showing. Uh, the fans, what a fantastic crew here getting us yeah. over here from uh, from the broadcast building to, to here at the, the parking lot. And uh, BYU Athletics, with all of their assistance, uh, bringing us uh, players from all the different teams out here tonight. And by the way, all of our player guests were presented by Bam Bam's Barbecue, authentic to the bone. So thanks to Bam Bams, thanks to everybody, yeah. to Wayne, to Garth, to Alice. My name is Greg Rubel, a.k.a. Ron Burgundy. I hope you had a good time on the BYU Sports <laughs> Halloween <laughs> Spooktacular. <laughs> good night. Happy Halloween. 160,000 miles. That's on average how often you'll use your car insurance. But what if you could get help with more, more often? And you could also save a couple of bucks on clothes or at restaurants. Skip the line at the DMV. Even get rescued roadside. You can 
when you're a member and your insurance is AAA. Insurance that's not just insurance.